Hello. Hello. Welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley, and for the next hour, we'll be learning some basic vocabulary for the kitchen. Tomorrow, at this time, we'll look at basic vo vocabulary for cooking. Today, let's go to the kitchen, my favorite room in the house. Hi, Holly. And hi, everyone out there. Come on in and join me. We're going to be learning this kitchen vocabulary by looking at some drawings of kitchen stuff through uh, some discussion, talking about the kitchen, and uh, doing some other exercises, fill in the blank, mix and match, whatever we come up with. In any case, Come on in and join me. Uh, sorry, I was a wee bit late. Uh, I apologize for that. Get caught in a one-on-one -on -one class in a important discussion. I couldn't leave. Um, we're starting a tiny bit late, but come on in and join me. We'll get started. Vocabulary for the kitchen. Any budding chefs out there? Uh, come on in and join me, and we'll learn a little bit about uh, some basic vocabulary which we use in the kitchen, and uh, we'll do a little kitchen uh, utensil identification, <laughs> etc. And uh, this will be useful for tomorrow's class as well, when we're going to talk about cooking cooking stuff uh, and all the various verbs and nouns we use together uh, okay here we go now we can get started uh, hello Johnny welcome to the class hello teacher thank you thank you uh, where are you from Johnny hello. I'm from Costa Rica Costa Rica, awesome. Okay, Johnny, you have a lot of material, so I'm going to get started. Anybody out there in Verbling land who wants to join us, go ahead and jump in the class anytime. Makes no difference at all when you join the class. Um, plenty of rooms, so come on in and join Johnny and I, and uh, we're going to talk about the kitchen. Uh, Johnny? Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a screen share here. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you see this picture okay? Yeah, Kitchen sure. Alliances. All right, I don't know how well these are drawn. That's the thing, but okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six little boxes with different kitchen appliances. What? Are they? Which is which? Yeah. For example, uh, number one here, what is this thing? The fridge. This is the fridge? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Um, I think that's um, the cooker. Cooker. Now, of course, this is very British. Do you know what Americans call this thing? We don't. We don't um, call it a cooker. Oh no, I, I don't know. So uh, um, we the make microwave. The... Well, and Americans, we're not going to call it a cooker. We we'll call it an oven or a stove. Either one. Okay. Uh, okay. Then uh, there's a small one that you can put on the counter, all right, to, to cook small things. Um, in a, and we call that a toaster oven, okay? Uh, it's just a small electric, definitely it's electric, um, commonly used toaster oven. It's a very small version. 
for in, yeah. you obviously an oven. Um, the, the this part. Uh, hang on. Uh, where am I? Okay. This part has a door you open up, right? And that's really the oven where you cook bread, cookies, whatever. Yeah. Do you know what this top part is called? These four circles. Yeah. What are those things? What are those four circles? Do you know? Oh, I don't know the name, but I don't know what it said, but I don't know the name. Uh, okay, these... Well, that's what we're here to do. Okay, those are the burners. They're called the burners. Okay, the burners. So this, is, this little picture here, this is a four-burner stove, in other words. Yeah. yeah. All right. It doesn't matter if it's an electric oven or a gas oven. It really makes no difference. It's a four-burner stove. Okay. All right. And the next one. What is this thing here? Um, I think this one is a microwave. I think you're right. I think that's the microwave. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have a microwave? Yeah. You have one? Yeah. I don't have one. Actually, and I'm okay with that. I used to always have a microwave, but I don't have one now, and and that's okay. <laughs> I cook all my food for real. Uh, okay, um, microwave is a microwave. Not much to say about that. Throw your food in, turn the dial, ding, it's ready. Yep. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, Okay, Holly's getting hungry, so let's talk about boring appliances that don't make you hungry. What's this one? Okay, the, uh, the one I think is um, uh, this uh, washer. Right on. All right, this is a automatic dishwasher. Just dishwasher. That's right. Do you it have is, a dishwasher? Uh, yeah. No, I don't have. The, I don't have it. Uh, I have a question for you. Is this uh, regularly found into the American family? It's a good question. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to answer it. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's an excellent question. Uh, I had one because I bought a house that had one already in it. But mm -hmm. I, wouldn't, I would just probably never go buy my own. Honestly, uh, why? Why? I, well, if like living in an apartment, I, if I had my oh. own house, I would have one. If I bought my own house, but if oh. you live in an apartment, you probably won't have one because it oh. takes up a lot of space. Oh, and, and actually, I I think that's true. Most of my friends who lived in apartments did not have a dishwasher machine, but friends who bought a house and planned on living there for 20, 30, 40 years, generally they would buy one. Mm, okay. Yeah. Now, of course, I, I live in the Philippines and I don't know any, I ha have never seen a dishwasher machine here, ever. I've never even seen them like in the mall, in the appliance shop. They just don't exist here. Mm. They haven't invented that in the Philippines yet. <laughs> okay. Never seen one here. Uh, okay, what's this number here? I think the refrigerator. Right, very good. And that's the thank you for giving me the full form. Refrigerator <laughs> is right. Refrigerator. Often called the fridge. The fridge. Uh, okay, it's, it's, it's the same as using the. It's like a common use. Uh, for say refrigerator is a uh, refrigerator or freeze. Fridge uh, is common. Fridge. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. Okay. Thanks. Good. Good. Sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can get me. Can you get me a soda out of the fridge? Sure. That would mm -hmm. be common. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. See, well, uh, Holly says she lived in two apartments. One had one, one didn't. Yeah, it's hard to say. Some do, some don't. Okay, and this is a horrible picture of... <laughs> not a very good picture. 
I don't know what is this. <laughs> That's okay. I, I didn't either. I had to figure it out by process of elimination. Well, um, it, it's a horrible picture. The next one is what a washing is machine. One? A washing machine. So the only thing we're left with uh, for this one is would be a freezer. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. And here's another one in America, some do, some don't. Families might have a freezer. So a single guy living by himself has a <laughs> freezer, you know, as part of the refrigerator. He doesn't need a big freezer. Oh, okay. I, I come from a big family. We had a big freezer because we also had a garden. Um, we raised our own pigs and a cow. So... You know, you need somewhere to store all that frozen meat and frozen vegetables. So we had a big one when I was growing up, really big one, a chest mm. freezer, the kind that's long and deep, not stand up okay. like this. Uh, yeah, Do uh, how about in Costa Rica? Do many people have a freezer? No, no. Costa Rica is most popular the freeze or the refrigerator. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I, very difficult the word. No, no, no. It's good. No, it's the same here in the Philippines. And very yeah. rarely do you see a freezer. So, uh, okay. In the United States, now most people would have a washing machine and a dryer. Oh yeah. Yeah, because in the winter, you really can't be hanging your clothes outside. They just turn into, like, boards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, you're, you're right. You're right. In Costa, Rica, yeah. in Costa Rica, isn't so popular as per... It is um, uh, very expensive. Here yeah, that's it? right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the uh, energy has... Um, uh, it didn't have a uh, very much energy and uh, right. it's, it's not good for um, regular family here in Costa Rica. Yeah, same. Uh, the climate in Costa Rica and where I now live, Philippines, I think is somewhat similar. So same thing here. Uh, nobody has a dryer. Well, not nobody. Um, no, no, dryer, dryer, no, 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 I'm so sorry. Uh, dryer isn't popular in Costa Rica as per the price, but right. uh, washing machine, of course, yes. And uh, right. everybody have, a, have one in the 90%, for example. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. It's Okay, same thing here in the Philippines. In okay. America, if you live in an apartment building, depends on the apartment building and the size and all that but generally there's going to be a laundry room uh, oh. which is which is shared by by all the tenants all the people in the different apartments they go down to like the basement for example there'll be a laundry room with washing machines and dryers two or oh. three of each something like that would be common is this uh, a, a free service for the yeah, uh, for for the people that um, hmm. live in the apartment or they need to uh, pay <laughs> or something like that for for using this, uh, this machine. Good question. It depends on uh, your landlord and how stingy and money grubbing your landlord is. <laughs> okay. If he wants, if he wants every cent, he'll he'll put in slot controlled coin slot controlled washer and dryer. So he can take your change as well as your rent money. <laughs> so, <laughs> <Okay>. Sometimes <laughs> it is, sometimes it isn't. A good if, you question. Don't have any, if you don't have money, you, you can wash your, your clothes. <laughs> That's it. You got it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Zingyu has joined us. Hello, Zingyu. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry for being late. That's okay, not a problem. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming. We're looking at we're we're taking a little tour of the kitchen today, Zingyu, uh, and uh, we're we're figuring out the vocabulary for all these different things. 
Zingy, I'm going to start with you. Okay, here's a, a list of uh, possible words. Starting with number one, what's this thing here that I've highlighted? What's that called, Zingyu? That is called a tap. All right, that's the tap. Uh, Americans may call it a tap, or we sometimes call it a faucet. Oh, I just drink water out of the faucet. It's okay. Faucet or tap? Uh, Americans use both. British generally always use tap. Uh, okay. Uh, Johnny? <laughs> What's this thing here? What's number two? Oh, my God. I, I don't have many... <laughs> Uh, I don't know many vocabulary of the kitchen, but yeah. um, uh, but I don't know. Uh, for saying something, uh, uh, isn't cupboard? No. Or no. This little thing here that the arrow's pointing at, we use it to stick in the hole so that the water won't go down. Okay. If that so, helps. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no? Zingyu, do you know? No, no, I don't know. Uh, Zingyu, do you know? Mm. Uh, number two? Number two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let, me, let, let me guess. Let me guess. Mm. What is that thing? It's usually made of rubber, and you stick it. Sometimes it's on a chain, so you don't lose it. And you stick it in. What's that? Plug. Did you say plug? Yes. Yeah, it's the plug. If you happen to have a bathtub, no doubt you have one in your bathtub as well to stop the water, so you can take a bath. But you might have one attached or next to your this thing. Johnny, what's this thing? There's two of them. Um, no, drawer. No. Zingyo actually got it already. This is the sink. This, uh, this particular sink. kitchen has two sinks. Or double so what, sink. What so what does it mean uh, sink? Sink, it's this sort of, this is kind of like a hole, a rectangular hole, and you plug up the water and you wash your dishes in there, or clean oh. vegetables or what have you. Uh, it's a basin that you have in the kitchen, all right, that your tap or faucet, you, you can put water in here, wash your oh. dishes or whatever. Okay. Uh, Zingyu, what's this space here? Number four, this kind of space along in the kitchen. Work surface. Work surface. Um, yes, we can call it that. That's quite formal. Any normal human in America is going to call that the kitchen counter. Counter, the counter. Okay, I just put my books on the counter, or kitchen counter, although you don't really have counters anywhere else in your house but the kitchen, but okay. Uh, the kitchen counter, all right? And really, I have to tell you that no kitchen counter looks this clean. There's usually junk all over it. There might be a microwave, a toaster oven, a coffee maker. Um maybe a little thing holding bananas, a fruit basket. There's always some kind of junk on the counter. It's never this clean. That doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fallacy. That's just not right. Uh, okay, now, uh, Johnny, what's this one? Number five. Okay, I think the drawer, maybe. 
drawer, right? You pull it out, you grab these round handles, and you pull it out, and you might have uh, your um, knives, knives and spoons and forks in there. Um, uh, okay, or there's there's usually oh here's an interesting thing, maybe this one over here. There's always I, I'm interested to see if you guys have this in your cultures. Uh, there's always in the kitchen one drawer which we call the junk drawer. Dun dun dun, the junk drawer. In this drawer goes things that you don't know the name of and uh, miscellaneous screws and nails and a broken screwdriver and a can opener that doesn't work and uh, a little uh, electronic device and uh, old SIM cards from your phone, pieces of wire, junk. Do, do, Johnny, do you have a junk drawer? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Zinio, does does everyone in China have a junk drawer to put their miscellaneous stuff that really can't be categorized? In my dining room, we have a big junk drawer. We you do. often put uh, some unuseful things into it. Great. Makes me uh, that makes me very happy that all cultures have no, a junk drawer. Not happy. Yeah, it's no, it's great. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing. My, <laughs> my daughter, my daughter often put a lot of things into it. Yeah. So that I can't open it. <laughs> it's uh, okay. full of stuff. Right. <laughs> right. Well, that's totally typical, totally normal. Uh, Zinya, what's this thing? We can barely see it down here. Number six. It's Number like a six. door. Cupboard. Right. But um, don't pronounce the P. The P is silent. Cupboard. 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 Yeah. It. It sounds like this. It sounds like. Well, it's bird. It sounds like the word bird. So it kind of sounds like this. Cupboard. Cupboard. With a K sound. Yeah, you don't hear the you don't hear the P at all. Teacher, yes? let me pronounce that again. Sure. Cupboard. Cupboard. That's it. Cupboard. Right. Cupboard. And it has even though Cupboard. it has it's it's actually a a compound noun cup board but we don't pronounce it that way apparently they've been around a long time so it's shortened but it still has that uh, high low sound like baseball cell phone cupboard high low is a uh, very common so yeah that's it okay let's move on to what's in the cupboards plates and cutlery Hooray! Okay, plates are obvi obviously the things you eat off of, and cutlery are the things you eat with. All right, let's take a look. Johnny, number one. What's and this? What's this thing? Okay, let me let me see the answers. Where is the answer for this? I don't see the answer for this. <laughs> you know, well, the name is uh, sorry. The name is there. Is, the name is ah, like fish forks and uh, cup, soup, saucer, teaspoon, glass, bowl, bowl, mug. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. This um, maybe jug. Maybe jug. Okay, it can be called a jug. Or uh, often a pitcher. Okay. A pitcher. Okay. okay, a big container, and you pour out of the pitcher into glasses for people. You have a pitcher of lemonade. Oh, okay. uh, jug of lemonade. Okay. Um, like that. 
All right. Zinio, how about number two? What's this? What's this? What's this? 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 Glass? Yeah. No, it's not a glass. We wouldn't call that a glass. It's a mug. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a mug. Sure. Um, you could call this a mug. There's also a bigger one made out of glass, which is a beer mug. It's for beer. But a small one, well, it doesn't, doesn't have to be small. Let me clarify that. A smaller one, maybe a smaller handle, would be a coffee mug. This looks like a coffee mug, probably. Um, or sometimes we say coffee cup. Coffee cup or a mug or a coffee mug. Right. Uh, where's number three? Okay, here it is. Johnny, what's this thing here? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's not your god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, I understand your point. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this? Uh, let me see. It's not a cup. It's not a... So strange. No, a little tricky. Teaspoon, maybe? No. 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 Boom and some other things. I, I don't know what to say. Up uh, plate. Mm, and now uh, this one is a dish, but I I would not call this just a dish. Dish. I would call this a casserole dish. It's ceramic, okay, and you bake. I don't know, like macaroni and tuna and peas and <laughs> you make macaroni and cheese. You bake in the oven in a casserole dish. All right? okay. You put it in the oven, all right, and you cook it inside of there. Um, so, yeah, I would call that a casserole dish, not just a dish. Okay. Because a dish and a plate are interchangeable, pretty much. You can say oh, either way. All right. Uh, we've got another Johnny, or Joanny. Joel. Peter, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the answer for number three? Say again, Zingyu, please. Oh. Johanny, hello. Hi, Johanny. Uh, hang on, I, Zingyu has a question. I'll talk to you in uh, just a second. Zingyu, what was your question again? What is the answer for number three? I would call that a casserole dish the answer is the answer is dish this object is going to be ceramic like a plate or a cup okay like clay fired clay ceramic um, so I would call it a casserole dish uh, I, I did already it's in the verbling chat box Okay, it's there already. A casserole is like macaroni and cheese or mm -hmm, oh, Hungarian goulash or tuna casserole, so on, so on. These are dishes that you bake in the oven in a dish like this. These are um, main dishes that you cook in the oven in this casserole dish. Now, you know, if this thing were made out of metal, it would be a pot. But I'm going to assume, since it's with all the other plates and cutlery, it must be ceramic. Plus, we've got pots and pans coming up. Uh, okay, Johanny. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. And you, teacher? I'm good. Thanks. We're identifying stuff in the kitchen. Okay, so we're on number four here, Johanny. What's this thing? Is mm, a fork. Indeed, it is. And uh, 
Johanny, can you tell the difference between uh, a fork and a salad fork? Mm, the some in the small. I don't know. Mm. Which one's the small one? The salad for fork. That is correct. So if you're sitting in a place and you have two forks, but one is smaller than the other, the smaller one is the salad fork. That's correct. Very good. You're okay. absolutely correct. Most uh, American restaurants, for example, will have uh, a regular fork and a salad fork sitting next to it. And uh, okay, and other things we're going to talk about in a, a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zingyu, what's number five here? This one. Number five. Number five. Spoon. He's a spoon. More oo, less ooh ah. Spoon. spoon. Yeah, it's like moon, spoon, June. Right, a spoon. Okay, we all have all kinds of spoons, you know, and we're going to look at another kind of spoon as well. There are serving spoons, big ones, to, to dish out onto plates for all the people who are eating. There's a serving spoon. That's a really big one. Um, there's a soup spoon, which is for eating soup, kind of round looking, and a tablespoon, which is a bigger spoon. I think this is a tablespoon in particular. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. J Johnny number six. What's what's this? <laughs> what's well, the, what is this? Uh, I think it's a teaspoon. Um, all right. Well, there's a teaspoon in it. I grant you that. Yeah. yeah. Or no. Looks like there's a teaspoon in it. Um, but what's this thing? The uh, a teaspoon uh, is. Ah, uh, sometimes okay. You might. Hmm, it might be called a cup, but uh, I think this is a little small. But imagine you're going to eat cereal, or there's sugar in here, or. Something like that. You can have ice cream. You put it in a. Okay. So a uh, uh, bowl. Maybe? Bowl. Right. Be, um, and you and everyone else, be careful of the pronunciation. It's bowl. O sound like hole. A hole. Bowl. Bowl. That's it. Please do not make this mistake of thinking it's an ow sound because then it's going to sound like bowel and your bowels are where your poo poo is and that's not good <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Understood. not good not good to mix those two up all right just yeah you're, you're right very very bad misunderstandings uh, all right oh. johanna what's this little guy here Mm, a mug. Uh, I think uh, number two is a mug. It's uh, deeper, um, more kind of square. I don't know. Okay, well, it you might call it. In I would call this a tea cup. It's a cup. All right, and and the mug I might call a coffee cup commonly and this one that's a little more delicate you know hold your pinky out when you lift it I, I would call that a teacup okay all right but both of them could be called cups all right it's a teacup do you are you, do you drink tea or coffee Johanna Johanna do you like do you like tea or coffee I'd like tea and coffee. 
Tea and coffee mixed together. Yeah. No, no mixed together. <laughs> in the morning, I prefer coffee, but in the afternoon, I like tea. Okay, that's nice. When uh, we used to, when I worked in a, I used to work in a kitchen as a chef, and when we had a very busy night, we would mix tea and coffee together. <laughs> Double strength coffee, <laughs> and then we'd put like ten tea bags in it. For the caffeine, yeah, that'll get you going. I'll tell you what, we we called it speed tea. <laughs> uh, you should you should try it. It's not very good. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not very tasty, but it sure will wake you up. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, okay, Zingyu, what's number eight? Zing you? Are you there? Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Glass. Glass. Okay. And any particular kind of glass. Mm. Now, of, of course, anything, any instrument wine. made out of. Sorry? Wine glass. Wine glass. Thank you. Okay. Any uh, vessel. Vessel is something that contains liquids. Any vessel that is made out of the material glass that we drink out of is called a glass. But of course, we have a water glass. Might be a water glass, a wine glass. We have red wine glasses and white wine glasses. <laughs> Do you know the difference, Zingyu? What's the difference between a red wine glass and a white wine glass? Do you know? What is the difference between a red wine glass and a white wine glass? Pictures, maybe the uh, size. Yeah, the red glass. Yeah. The red glass is uh, is taller than the white glass. Uh. N Taller isn't really important. What's important is wider uh, because you want the red wine to breathe. You want it to mix with the air as much as possible so it's much wider so that, uh, yeah, that it can react with the oxygen and it can breathe. Right. Uh Right, and then of course you have champagne glass and champagne flute. You have all kinds of glasses, really. Uh, okay, where's number nine? Well, number nine, Johnny. Well, this one's easy. Um, you know, seltzer. What's that? Uh, seltzer. Saucer number nine? No, it's too big to be a saucer. Nine plate. here? Plate. plate. All right. Yes. This is yes. a plate. We got yes. plate. <laughs> Fork on the, okay. Plate in the middle. Plate. And again, uh, plate and dish are interchangeable, really. And of course, we use dish. Um, do the dishes. We're, we're talking about if we have to wash all of these things, we can say do the dishes. I need to do the dishes later. Um, okay. Okay, but a dish or a plate, really, at least for Americans, we can say either one mean exactly the same thing. Uh, Johanny, number 10. Is knife. Is a knife. Okay, very good. Uh, Johanny, wh where are you from? I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela, all right. And in Venezuela, do people use steak knives? Is that common? What is this? I don't know what is. <laughs> okay. A steak knife is a, a knife about the same size as a regular knife, but it has a serrated sharp edge and a point. It's for cutting steak or cutting meat. Uh, yes, but not in Venezuela, in Brazil. That is so commune. Ah, really? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. 
And then the one that we see in the picture, um, an American might distinguish the difference. He might... That's a butter knife. Um, or when we just say knife, we probably mean a butter knife. Um, very interesting. Here, I, I, I'm an American, and it's customary to have a fork and a knife and a spoon at, when you eat every time, even at home. In a restaurant, you may have a steak knife, and you may have a salad fork. You may have a dessert spoon and a soup spoon. You may have all those things to eat with. Um, but it's interesting. Here in the Philippines, forget about it. They only have a fork and a spoon. They don't have knives. It's crazy. They cut meat with a spoon. Yes. I'm, I'm not crazy. kidding. It is crazy. Here's my theory. Um, the Spanish colonized the Philippines, and when they were colonizing the Philippines, the the big ship with the forks made it, and the big ship with the spoons made it, but unfortunately, the big ship with the knives got lost in a typhoon and was never heard from again, and thus, Philippines do not have knives. <laughs> never. It's just, it's just a theory. No, they do have knives. It's... They exist here, but it's extremely uncommon for people to eat with a knife. Um, extremely uncommon. You, you never see it. I, uh, it. When when the people eat a steak. Well, the people don't eat steak, so there you go. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you have sharp knives for cooking, and they cut up the meat or whatever. But even that's very different. They'll chop it up, but they'll chop it up with the bones in it. So as you eat, you have to eat around bones all the time. But you, but still, you don't. It's different. What can I tell you? Zigyu, uh, under our teacup is number eleven. Under the teacup, what is that? Under the teacup. Mm. It's called. Uh, it's called. Uh, it's called a plate. No, it's not. <laughs> Often it has a little hole in the middle, so the teacup fits right into the little hole. It's called a saucer. It is a teacup and saucer. That's right. And uh, then number twelve, I'll. I think I said it before. Anyway, this is a teaspoon. You use it for tea, but okay. Um, we commonly, you will see in English recipes, the directions to cook food, you will see uh, in recipes requirements for teaspoons and tablespoons. Uh, here's a clue for you all. Three teaspoons... If you happen to be using uh, re an English-speaking recipe and you need to do a conversion or you only have one kind of spoon, three teaspoons equal one tablespoon, just so you know. And one tablespoon equals half an ounce. Aha. Uh -huh. Just so you know. There's a little... Kitchen conversion for you. Uh, okay, let's let's look at equipment. Now we're, we're gonna get to our equipment here. Aha! All righty, here we go. Now, here are the words: teapot, wok, whisk, scales. Oh, there's some crazy ones here. Food processor. Tin opener, casserole dish. Oh, there's a casserole dish. Oven glove. All right. Number one. Okay. What is number one? Um, Gianni. Okay. Hmm. Just. Hmm. What is that thing? Um. 
Okay. Actually, we had this one before. I think this don't doesn't this one look the same? Yeah. This looks the same to me. It looks like the yeah. same thing to me. All right. What's the difference? Okay. It's not a casserole. Yeah, I agree with you. It is a casserole dish. I think yeah. so. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, Johanna, how about number two? What's this one? Mm. Mm. I don't know. No idea? Um, no. What's the difference? Oven between? glove. <laughs> Oven glove? <laughs> <laughs> you put that on your hand? <laughs> I don't know. We got this one, and we got this one. What's the difference? Uh, the three is for tea. Three is for tea. Now, right, I agree with you. That's a teapot, right? A teapot. So what's a bigger one called? Teapot. If the little one's a teapot, what's this bigger one? It looks very, very similar. It really has the same function, heat water. Uh, anybody know what that's called? Kettle. Very good. So you know that's a kettle, sometimes called a tea kettle. Obviously, you can heat. You can have hot water in either one of these, but you heat the water in here. Um, okay. A tea kettle. Right. Very good. Uh, Zingu, what's this thing? Number four. Here's the sound. What is that thing? Number four. Oh. Yes. What is the long number three? Number three was a teapot. Oh, number three is teapot. teapot. Yeah, we kind of teapot. we got teapot. that one already. Nine. So number three, I mean number four. Sorry, yeah. Number four. Oh, it's very tricky. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number four. What is that thing? Well, here's a here's a listen to my verb now. You use it to grate cheese. Or great carrots, or great onions, or whatever. You use it to grate food to make the food into small, small pieces. Let me guess. Let me guess. Grater. Yeah, that's right. And the again, the verb is to grate. Sounds just like great, G R E A T, but it's actually great, G R A T E. You you grate some cheese, put it on your pizza, whatever. Okay. Yeah. The number four is uh, greater. Greater, right? Greater. Right here. Yes, that is correct. That's a grater. You might hear it called a cheese grater, possibly. Uh, okay, Johnny, what are these things? Here, number five. I don't see what kind of this picture is. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the best picture, really. Oh, is that over, uh, uh, could you please yeah. bring up? Yeah. Bring up? The, uh, the uh, iron glove. Uh, no. The document owner. Yeah. Oven glove? No. Oven glove, yes. Yeah. But yeah. I have to tell you, uh, that's very British, oven glove. No American, American wouldn't even know what that is. We call that an oven mitt, as in mittens. Because it is a mitten. It's not a glove. It doesn't fit all your fingers. It's like a mitten. It fits four of your fingers and your thumb. Oh, okay. So we oh, normally... Fingers. Yeah. You, see, it's all big for your four fingers in there. And then it's going to have a thumb hole. But anyway, yeah, those are oven mitts. Uh, okay. Right. Number six, Johanna. What's this thing? It's difficult. It's a torture device. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Screw it into your ear. Pull out your eardrum. I don't know. I don't you do? What is it? Mm. Mm. It's a 
Uh, I'll give some clues for class. <laughs> okay. If you want to drink wine. Thing opener. And first, uh, you should open the wine. You should right. open the Thing tool. opener. Uh, not, not quite, no? no. I don't drink wine from a tin. There's, There you go. You drink wine from a bottle, and you need this device to take the cork out. It screws in here, round and round and round. Will you bring up, please? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, it's just for a reading about uh, uh, possible answers. Uh-huh. Johanna, do, do you know? Think opener. I don't know. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you, you like tea and coffee, you don't like wine, do you? No. No, I can tell. It's obvious. Zinga likes wine, though. <laughs> how about how about Johnny? Do you like wine? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, you got to yeah. get that wine open. So you need a corkscrew. Corkscrew. Absolutely. Cork you screw it into the cork, and you pull out the cork. You use your hands to pull on the handle, and you pull the cork out. Okay, what is this weird-looking device? Uh, Zingu, number seven. What is this? <laughs> number seven. Yeah. What's that thing? It's a helicopter. I know this. I know this. Think of it. Yeah. <laughs> right? There's your tin <laughs> opener. There's your tin opener right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, British use the word tin, and Americans always say can. So British say tin opener. Americans say can opener. It's a can opener, of course. Um, tin opener, can opener, same thing. All right, Johnny, what's this thing? I have no idea. What is the name of this uh, well, stuff? It has a couple names, really. A couple uh, names? Well, only one here, but uh, there's a couple things that we call this. Um, anybody else, Zingu or Johanna, you know what the thing is? No. What do you use it for? Do you know that? Yes, to to mix the to mix. recipes for for um, chocolate, for example, for mixing chocolate, chocolate. and milk. Okay, yes. all right, or eggs, right? Eggs. Um, eggs. Yeah. Right. So this thing is called a whisk. Uh, whisk. Whisk. Yeah. Whisk or whiskey. It does sound like whiskey or it uh, without the Y. Yeah, but that's exactly right. Or a whip. <laughs> it's also called a whip. Sometimes a wire whip. Uh, yes. So you may see, for example, in a recipe, whisk the eggs. Or you may see whip the eggs. Or you may see mix the eggs. Uh, in any case... Uh, it's also whisk and whip is also used as the verb to talk about the action as well. Uh, number nine, Johanna, what's this thing? Mm. Put the words, please. Sure. Is. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> no idea? Yeah. Not quite. It's very close it's, to... I uh, know, that's right. This is the right word. Johanny? Scales. No. Nope. Nope. It's no. a kind of pan or pot. Uh, let me see. i got to cheat. Okay, I see. Okay, 
Uh, Johanny, you've, you've never hit your boyfriend or your husband over the head with a frying pan? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. It's a frying pan. Uh, okay. They're sometimes made of iron, sometimes stainless steel. Sometimes there's a ceramic kind. But anyway, it's a frying pan. Uh... Okay, Zingyu, I'm glad you got this one. What do you call this one? The handles on either side, the big, big bowl, made of metal. Uh, large cooking pot. <laughs> you know, I think this is so weird um, because as an American, we all know that this is called a wok, and we think it's Chinese, and we think all Chinese people call it a wok. But so far, I have yet wow. to have any Chinese person know that. Is that really what it's called or not? Is that right? I already Zingyu, know. Is, is it called a wok? Mm, yes, yes, it's called a wok. Oh, okay. Well, all Americans know that, and we're going to call it, we call it a wok. Mm. Uh, uh, okay, which, W-O-K. I will... Cook food with this wok. Yeah, I, I have a wok in my... I have two woks in my kitchen. Actually, I have three. I have a really, really big one for parties and a medium size and a small one. Um, okay, unfortunately, we're out of time, so let me just whip through these last ones. This is... Uh, what? Oh, nobody. It's a scale. All right, to weigh things. Okay. Scale. Number 12. Toaster. Is Toast. Toaster. Toaster. Yes. Number 13. Um, big casserole. <laughs> yeah, big casserole. This is a, this is a large cooking pot, or if it's really large, it's called a stock pot. Um, for like, if you're going to make a lot of soup, you use a stock pot. I mean really large, like, you know, 12 liters or something. Uh, okay, what's this little guy? Number 14. This little, little pot is a sauce saucepan or sauce pot, one or the other. It's sort of between a pan and a pot. Saucepan. Your sauce is in. Number 15, what's this thing? Process, processor. Processor. Yep. That's right. Food processor. Very good. All right. Don't put your finger in here, please. Uh, all right. And last of all, there's a pair of mugs. I don't know why they're here with all this other pots and pants. But collectively, uh, most of these things are called, we, pretty much, we call these things all together pots and pans. Okay. Well, teacher. Uh, just very much, but uh, I'm um, past yes. time. What is the last one? The last one? The little mugs? The mugs. They're mugs. That's all. There's a couple coffee mugs in the wrong place in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Uh, I gotta go. I'm already late starting my next class, so. Bye-bye for now. Bye, teacher.